I'm here with Tiff Macklem, Governor of the Bank of Canada and former Dean at Toronto's Rotman School of Management. In addition, we have from our archives, Harvey Weingarten, former president of the University of Calgary. Our topic is the state of post-secondary education in Canada today. Both of our guests have been champions of Canada's system of post-secondary education. By and large, Canadians of all political stripes have politely deferred to experts like them and followed their advice. According to a 2022 study by Statistics Canada, we lead all G7 countries in terms of the percentage of 25 to 64-year-olds with a college certificate or university degree. So why do Canadians invest so much more in credentials from these institutions than citizens of other G7 countries? I want to play a clip from an interview that Dr. Weingarten gave to CBC Radio back in 2009. There isn't a university president alive who hasn't at some point said to the students incoming or current, to the public, to parents of students, that if you come to my university, you will leave here being a more critical thinker than when you first arrived. According to you, the key role of the university is to develop students' critical thinking skills. Would you then say that you see the university's role as improving the quality of human capital? From my perspective, Critical thinking helps us live our lives better. Treating a university education as simply an economic good shouldn't really be our goal. Next, I want to play you a couple of clips from an interview Tiff Macklem gave to McLean's magazine in 2018. First, This is a recognition by government that talent is becoming the defining competitive advantage. Instead of offering corporate subsidies, let's create a deep talent pool and the best companies will come. And next, the reality is that education is a great export industry for Canada. For a country that needs to diversify its trade beyond the U.S., it's a very valuable way to build connectivity around the world. I think it's clear that Mr. Macklem sees the role of the university from the perspective of an economist. You've said that education can both attract investment and increase our exports. Presumably, I think you'd also see education as somehow necessary to improve our productivity as well. Yes, I agree with that. Dr. Weingarten has put forward the argument that the goals of a broad liberal education are not merely economic. Before we wind up this brief chat, I'd like to play you one more clip from that 2009 interview. You know, the main reason students tell you they go to university, this has been true for decades, is to get the knowledge and credentials to get a good job. And now we're in a situation where we have many employers who are telling us that they are looking at university graduates who do not have the skills and capacities and competencies they need to fill their jobs, and so we have job vacancies. From my perspective, a broad liberal education may have some social value beyond merely an economic one, but it's clear that students, employers, and society generally expect something with a demonstrable net present value. It also seems pretty clear that many of us wouldn't bother with a university degree if it wasn't required to get good jobs. That smacks of something referred to as tied selling, which is prohibited in many jurisdictions and is certainly anti-competitive. In terms of real economic value, GDP per capita is the generally accepted way to measure productivity. While Canada leads the G7 in terms of educational outcomes, our GDP measures are closer to the bottom. It may be naive to believe we compete in a free market economy. In that regard, Tiff Macklem is certainly right to suggest that Canada must diversify our trade beyond the U.S. In our view, they're among the world's most experienced protectionists, although they do talk a pretty good game of economic freedom and free trade.